Hey everyone, Yulon Yolandos here. This is the March 23rd release of the AVP uh, beta. There's a few things that have changed. I don't put a video out every single day, otherwise I'd be showcasing like something, for instance, this block has changed into a texture of this block. So, you get what I mean by I'm not going to put one out every day. I only release them when some major, major things happen. So, yeah, let's get started. Now, if you wanted to know some of my PC specs, you can now just by looking at this. Um, <laughs> the monitor now has the ability to read your computer. How cool is that? That's just cool as. And as with before, it's not going to function if you don't have any power. Next up, we have the assembler, which is very pretty, and it's showing all the items it can actually create. And the way this works is you have a selection of different things here, all from the AVP mod. And that's step one into understanding how this works. Now, for instance, say we wanted to craft Doritos. Down here, it's telling us that we need four wheat and four baked potatoes. So grab some wheat and baked potatoes. Now I'll go out of creative mode. And now we'll scroll back down to Doritos. Now as long as I have this in my inventory, I can put potatoes over here, I can craft the Doritos. Ta-da! I'm creating Doritos out of nothing. Well, technically food, but you get the point. You can do this with lots of things. You can create, I don't know, let's say we want to create an AK-47 assault rifle. So say we wanted to craft the AK-47. We'd have to come over here, get some oak wood planks, aluminium ingots, leather, and iron ingots. Okay, I can do that. Okay, now that I have the necessary things, you can also see over here on the top, you can see 28 out of 60 materials. That's showing how many materials I have um, in my inventory and how many more I need to achieve this crafting operation, which is the smart gun up here. But we're going for the AK-47, it's all red, we've got them all, craft. Ta-da, done. And it should have popped up in our inventory, yep, I accidentally crafted two. And with creative, it doesn't actually minus away the materials, but as soon as you go into survival, it'll minus away the materials, so it makes it, um, being in creative a lot easier. Ta-da. Okay guys, next up, we're actually going to dip into the Prometheus mod, and of course, for you who don't know, um, the Prometheus mod and the AVP mod have been completely merged and this is the first appearance of an actual um, alien from the Prometheus mod. So I'm gonna um, tell you about this little guy. He's called the Hammerpede. He appeared in the Prometheus movie and when they encountered these, I, if I can remember clearly, one wrapped around someone's arm and they tried taking it off his arm and it like sliced off his arm and then they like cut off its head and then the acid spewed everywhere and then it regrew its head <laughs> and then it went up inside the hole that the severed arm was giving availability to and then another one crawled inside his mouth and they killed him from the inside so <laughs> they're as bad as facehuggers um, to put it to put it bluntly and they look very similar and um, from my knowledge it's basically just an unevolved facehugger. Uh, facehuggers are more evolved than the hammerpeeds. And they will attack you. Um, they don't actually do anything to you. They just, you know, attack. Like, bam, bam, bam. Like you're hitting someone with a sword. But it'd be good to see if they actually, like, crawl inside your body and you can, like, inside your mouth. And, like, they attach to your mouth. Similar to the facehugger, but then they, like, go inside your body. Alright, I'm getting to be carried away. Next up, we have the protomorph. This was one of the first aliens to appear in Prometheus. Um, it's yeah, it's it's um, the first first uh, fully developed xenomorph from my itinerary of understanding. Um, it hasn't got a proper texture yet, um, so we'll get rid of it. But that's obviously a work in progress, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And I'm really happy about the hammerpeds. They were cool when I saw them in the movie. Of course, they all bleed acid as well, and they drop uh, royal jelly, and so does the queen. Oh, on that note, the queen has also gotten a modification. Number one, her health is displayed down there. 
like all futuristic. Number two, her hitbox is so much better now. I can hear it on her foot, on the hand, over here. It's not even on her. But before, you'd be like this, and you'd be like, why is she not dying when you're hitting her right in between the legs? Oh my god, is that hitting her? Okay, so hitbox is a lot more bigger, so it's a lot easier to hit her now. And she'll still regenerate health, so you're gonna... This sword has sharpness 5 on it, so... You can imagine how many times you'd have to hit her. Yeah, and she drops a whole bunch of jelly. <laughs> and last of all, something that I'm very appreciative of is that, um... Erythux has... Split up the... Blocks and the actual utilities. So you've got all the utilities here, like the weapons, crafting items, ores, yeah, all the different items, and then you've got the blocks, the decorations. So yeah, that was a little bit irritating trying to find all this stuff among this stuff before, so that's just a really minor tweak. And there's a few other minor tweaks which you can check out on his Facebook page, um, which I won't mention here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the latest update. It's being updated all the time, you can follow along, that's what I do, I follow along as well. I keep, tra keep track of what's going on. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. See ya.